Hey guys, it is Tuesday and we are back for another ELA lesson. So before we get started, um, for this lesson, you will need a marker and a dry erase board or a paper and pencil. We're going to have some questions and we're going to write some answers down so that you can have them ready for your teacher. All right, let's get started. So this week we are going back over main idea in details and we've talked about that before. So we're just going to do a review. Okay, so we know what is a main idea and we know that the main idea is what the text is mostly about. And what are details? Well, if I know the main idea is what the text is mostly about, the details are the sentences that tell more about or describe the main idea. So the details describe or explain the main idea. How can we find the main idea? Who remembers how we ways we can find? Tell me one way. Okay, so first we can ask ourselves, what is the text mostly about? Then we can look at the title. We can look at the pictures. We can search for words that are repeated over and over. And sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes we can read the first or the last sentence in the text to see if it tells us the main idea. Now remember, again, this is not all the time, but sometimes you can read the first or the last sentence of the text to see if it tells you the main idea. And we also want to remember, don't get confused by supporting details. Details explain the main idea. They don't tell what it's mostly about. They explain more about it. Okay, so we're going to read this book, Sea Turtles, because this week we're going to learn about turtles. We're going to read this book and we're going to discuss it. And along the way, you're going to have six questions that you're going to look at. So yesterday we talked about finding the main topic of a page or a paragraph. So that's what we're going to look a little bit more into today. Okay, so here we see the table of contents and it has all of the things that we're going to find in this book. So pause the video if you want to look at the table of contents to see more about what we're going to read about. A sea turtle. What hatches on land but spends its life in the sea? What starts out the size of a ping pong, ping pong ball but can grow up to seven feet long? A sea turtle. And here we see a photograph of a green sea turtle. Point to the caption on this page that tells more about this picture. Very good. The caption says green sea turtle. And at the top, we see a riddle. It says, what do you call a sea turtle that flies? And the answer is, flip your video upside down and see the, the answer. It says a shellocopter. So let's look at this next page. Sea turtles are graceful swimmers in the water. Their flippers move like wings. Sea turtles travel the world in warm ocean waters. They are one of the few reptiles that live in the sea. So what is the main idea of this pass of this page? Pause your video and number your paper one through six. And beside number one, write the letter that tells the main idea of this page. Read the page again and tell the main idea of this page. A sleek body helps the turtle move easily through the water. And here we have a photograph of a turtle and it has a diagram that is labeled with each part of the turtle is labeled. The scales on its shell are called scutes. The back flippers steer the turtle as it swims. They are also used to dig nests in the sand. A sea turtle has lungs because it breathes air. A sea turtle holds its breath underwater. Sea turtles can't pull their heads and limbs into their shells like land turtles can. Their large, powerful flippers act like paddles. 
Scientists believe some sea turtles live 80 years or more, but they don't know for sure. And again, we see another riddle. What kind of jokes do sea turtles tell? Flip your video over. Shilarious ones. Meet the turtles. There are seven kinds of sea turtles in the world. Each has special features. Let's point to each caption and read it. The loggerhead is the most common sea turtle in the southeastern United States. It gets its name from its large head. The flatback has a flat body. It's the only sea turtle that doesn't live in U.S. waters. It lives near Australia. The olive ridley has an olive colored shell. It is shaped like a heart. The hawk's bill can't dive deep. It spends most of its time on the water surface. The green turtle has a small head. Unlike other sea turtles, it goes ashore to warm itself in the sun. The Kemp Ridley's like shadow, shallow waters. It's the world's most endangered sea turtle. The leatherback doesn't have a hard shell. Its skin is rubbery with small bones underneath. And there we see a little turtle term and it tells us what the word endangered means. Endangered means at risk of dying out. Go back and find the sentence with the word endangered and read it again. Nest building. A female turtle comes on land to lay her eggs. She usually turns, returns to the same beach where she hatched. Scientists aren't sure how sea turtles know where to go. They think sea turtles know by instinct. The sea turtle digs a hole with her back flippers. She lays her eggs and covers them with sand. Then she returns to sea. And here we see another turtle term, instinct. Instinct means behavior that animals are born knowing how to do. Pause your video and read that riddle. Oh baby, crack! The eggs hatch after 50 to 70 days. Tiny turtles called hatchlings crawl out of their egg shells. They are less than three inches long. We see another turtle term, hatchling. A hatchling is a young animal that has just come out of its egg. And the caption says, baby loggerhead sea turtles hatching from its shell. Why do you think that caption says that sentence. That's right, it describes what's going on in the picture. Hatchlings usually crawl toward the sea at night. In the dark, they are hidden from predators. The little turtles follow the brightest light. The line where the sky meets the sea is the brightest natural light on a beach. If the hatchlings follow this light, they will make it to the sea. And we see another turtle term, predator. A predator is an animal that eats other animals. Pause your video and read that riddle. What do you get when you cross a turtle and a porcupine? A slow poke. Now, on your paper number two, what is the main idea of this page? Remember, we want to tell just the main idea of this particular page, not the entire passage that we've read so far, only about this page. Which sentence tells about this page? Pause your video and write your answer. Big and small. The smallest sea turtles are the Kemp Ridleys and the Olive Ridley. Adults are about two feet long and weigh up to 100 pounds. The largest sea turtle is the Leatherback. It can grow up to seven feet long and weigh more than 2,000 pounds. That's about 10 men put together. On your paper, mark number three. What is the main idea of this page? What is the main idea of this page? Not the entire passage, but only what you've read on this page so far. What, is, what tells mostly about this page? 
Pause your video and write your answer. On the menu, munch, munch, what's for lunch? Most sea turtles eat plants and animals. They dine on algae and sea grasses. They also munch on crab and conch. Jellyfish are a favorite food for many sea turtles, but plastic trash can look like jellyfish in the ocean, and that spells trouble. Swallowing trash can hurt and even kill sea turtles. We have another turtle term, algae. Simple, non-flowering plants that do not have stems, roots, or leaves. Number four on your paper. Which sentence tells about what this page, these two pages are mostly about? Pause your video and write the sentence that tells what this, these two pages are mostly about. Don't forget your clues. Look at the title. Look at the pictures. What did you read over and over again? Do you see any words repeated? Danger. Trash isn't the only danger to sea turtles. Fishing nets and hungry animals can harm them too. Building lights confuse hatchlings so they don't reach the sea. Sometimes people even step on sea turtle nests by accident. Pause your video and read that riddle. Now pause your video again and read the captions. Number five, what is the main idea of this section in the past in the book? What is the main idea of this section? Pause your video and write your answer. Sea turtle rescue. In 2005, a giant oil in 2010, a giant oil spill leaked into the Gulf of Mexico. Oil covered sea animals and washed up on beaches. Oil is dangerous to people and wildlife. Read those captions. People in charge of a sea turtle rescue program in Louisiana saved many sea turtles. The rescuers cleaned the turtles and gave them medicine. People cared for them until they could return to the sea. Safekeeping. You don't need to work at a sea turtle hospital to help sea turtles. Here are a few things you can do to keep them safe. Number one, pick up trash on the beach. Number two, don't release balloons into the air. They often end up in the sea. Number three, turn out lights that could be seen from the beach. Number four, read beach warning signs. Avoid turtle nesting areas. Number five, tell your classmates what you've learned about sea turtles. On your paper, the final question, number six. What is the main idea of this page? What is the main idea of this section? These two pages, what's the main idea? And here we have the glossary. A glossary is a collection or a page where the author has taken all of the important words that we needed to know and given us the meaning of these words. Okay, so if you need to go back, make sure you have numbers one through six on your page for your teacher for your call. We're going to go over them and see if your answers are right. Talk to you tomorrow.